Hey guys, so today I will be filming my January favorite. Um, I'm sorry if I'm going to be a little bit more goofy than usual because my boyfriend is like two feet away from me and he's being such a goofball and so he's probably going to try to make me laugh. So I'm sorry now. Um, I'm late as usual, but better late than never. And I have a lot of stuff, so I'm just going to jump right in. I have two foundations, one's um, high-end and one's drugstore. The high-end one, or higher-end one that I've been using, and I already showed it in my um, my foundation tutorial, is the Lancome Taint Dual Ultra. I have it in 420 Bisque N. Um, sorry, I see him out of the corner. Um, it's really fantastic. I like how it wears. It I wouldn't say it's completely matte. Um, it's more of like a semi-matte, more natural finish, but it lasts a really, really long time. And then um, the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous Foundation, mine's an 857 Golden Tan. I really, really like it, and it's pretty similar to the Lancome one, actually. So, yeah. Um, the Lorac Pro Palette has been amazing. Um, I actually think I might be getting burnt out on it because I've been using it so much. Um, I like to pair the nude with um, the pewter, and then I like to do the light bronze with the gold, and I almost always just use either taupe or mauve as my crease colors. Um, I mean, I like the other colors, but for every day, I'm not just thinking about it, I'm just throwing it on. And then the taupe is what I've actually been using on my brows instead of what I was using out of the Naked palette. So it really has, like, taken over, um, instead of my Naked, so really good. Um, the next thing is something I'm completely in love with. I've kind of been on a highlighter craze lately, and what set it off and really, um, I'm still completely in love with, and might be the best out of all of them, is the NARS Albatross. It is gorgeous. Um, I mean, really, I guess it doesn't look like much in the pan, but, um, and I don't even, I don't think I'm really going to be able to see it. Um, it's just enough. It has, like, this golden sheen to it. I'm wearing it right now. I'm not a whole lot of it, though. Um, but, oh, this is beautiful. Uh, another highlighter that I've been using, um, not as much as the Albatross because I haven't had it as long, but I do really like it so far, is the Benefit What's Up. And it's, um, a cream highlighter which I've seen so many times and swatched it so many times in Sephora and finally I was just like, I've got to buy it. Um, the reason why I decided to get it and why I like it is that it's not like other cream highlighters. I have oily skin so I try to stay away from things that I feel like are going to get slick on my face, but this is definitely a cream to that powder finish, so love it. Um, this next one is kind of expected and unfortunately I think it was limited edition, so I don't think you'll be able to, oh my god, you'll be able to get it, and the mirror broke, which is awful, because it is Chanel, so, oh, I'm sorry, I don't know why I just showed you the mirror, um, it's the Chanel Notorious, and it is, um, a contour product, and yes, it is gray, um, but it's fantastic, like, it really does, the whole point of contouring is to create shadows, and it really does create the perfect shadow. I just dropped this brush somewhere. I'll figure that out later. Um, so I've really been liking it. I haven't used it, um, I, I haven't been using it like every single day. Um, more like on the weekends or um, whenever I'm doing something at night. Just because it is a very, not too dramatic, but it is a more dramatic look. It's not really um, the most like natural look. So, I don't know. Um, I still love it. For eye primer, I've been switching up from my usual and going with the Lorac behind the si behind the scenes eye primer, and it came with the Ra the Lorac Pro palette, and um, it kind of looks like a lip balm applicator, and it just squeezes out. I've really been loving this because I feel like the um, Urban Decay Primer Potion leaves like residue, and sometimes. Like, if I, you know, accidentally get it in the corner of my eye, and I don't get any shadow in that spot, you can tell, like, it looks white. But this, it doesn't leave anything. Like, it creates the perfect base, but then it's okay if you don't cover every little bit of it with shadow. 
maybe, I don't know if anyone else has that problem, but sometimes I do. Um, for liquid eyeliner, I wear liquid eyeliner basically every day of my life for the last, I don't know, four or five years, and which is probably like, yeah, really bad, but still, I love it. Um, the Jordana Fabuliner liquid eyeliner in black is amazing. It is so much like the, and I don't even have it, I put it away because I haven't been using it. It's so much like the Ico eyeliner like this, but so much better. And I want to say this is either $1.99 or $2.99, and I get mine at Walgreens, or I got mine because it was my first one, and I'm in love. Um, for concealer, I've been using the Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Concealer in medium 26. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, great coverage. I love that it actually kind of like dries. That's cute, but it does. For someone with oily skin, it's nice for something to dry and like kind of mattify. Um, Next is something that I've only actually worn twice, but it is so awesome that I have to mention it. And I have to mention where I got the idea to buy it from. It was, oh my god, um, and now I can't remember. I'll put it in the notations if I can't remember during the video. The Makeup Forever Aqua Rouge, and mine is in number 8, and it is like a pure true red. It is, um... Okay, so you put on the lacquer, like the red color, and I'm not, I'm not going to actually swatch it because once you put it on, it does not come off, um, and it kind of dries down, and you can leave it like that, but it's super duper matte, I mean, which isn't a bad thing, and then on the other side, you have this gloss, which um, as long as you wait long enough before you put the gloss on, then you won't get any color on the gloss. Um, it's amazing. I actually bought another one that was more of like a hot pink color but it looked awful on me so I returned it but this red is gorgeous it's so true red um, and I love it I can't wait to have more reasons to wear it um, and I guess sticking with lip stuff I kind of jumped on the whole like Vivid's bandwagon I don't know if they're limited edition or not but if they are I wanted to make sure I got the ones that I was interested in I have Brazen Berry, Shocking Coral, Fuchsia Flash, and Electric Orange. Um, Electric Orange I like. In person, I don't like it that much, but every time I take a picture with it on, I'm like, oh wow, like I need to wear that more often. Um, the most recent one I've gotten is the Shocking Coral, which is another one. Like when I put it on and I just looked in the mirror, I was like, well, first of all, that doesn't even look that coral to me, and I don't know if I love it, so I was considering returning it, and then I took a picture with it on and it was, to me, gorgeous. Um, Fuchsia Flash I was wearing in one of my last videos and it's just like a fantastic hot pink. And last but not least is the Brazen Berry and it is purple but it pulls more pink than like a true purple. Really, really like it. And next up is my Tarte Blush and Fantastic. This was in, um, the set of four and it's a matte um kind of like dull pink color and i really have been loving it i love pairing it with the chanel notorious because it just it looks so good the gray and the pink and i love it and then this is something that like no one ever talks about but it is amazing and it's the co bigelow lemon lip cream and it's from bath and body works it smells like the um girl scout cookies the old ones the lemon cream ones i think they were called oh, i i love them love the cookies and the lip balm uh and then next is something that i finally got my hands on and it is the ben nye banana luxury powder the annoying thing with this is that it gets like everywhere and um see everywhere there's like no way to keep it all together but i mean there's a lot in there so it's not like you're gonna ra run out anytime soon um oh and I've been using this <coughs> oh my god <laughs> so ridiculous um I've been using this um under my eyes and like highlighting I'm actually not using it today because I was in such a crazy rush and it takes a little bit longer because I wet my beauty blender when I use it um and I was just yeah late so um 
next video I'll probably be wearing this and then you'll see if it makes any difference. And then last but not least is my hair bean. I love this thing. It's so awesome. Um, mine, like, the plastic is coming off. Anyway, but, um, it's just so great, and I use it all the time. It's my number one. Whether my hair is, um, curly or straightened, uh, well, I mean, once it's curly, I don't brush it, but if it is, like, when it's wet, I use this, and it doesn't snag or anything. Okay, so those are my favorites for the month of January, and I guess for the first month of February also. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Have a fantastic day. Bye.